Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Bleak and Novice. You already know this. That sounded kind of weird. I don't know. I'm going to get this introduction down. But anyways, um, what you're seeing here, what I'm going to tell you guys in this uh, commentary is something a bit different, a bit new. But before I start with that, I want to state that doing commentaries over a 10, 11 minute video is actually really hard. You guys may not know it. But just imagine someone doing a commentary. Let's break down the scenario real quick. It's someone sitting in their room, in the, some random room in their house, whether it be their room, computer room, work room, office, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's just a room with your shit in it. Talking to a computer into a microphone. Just talking to no one. Just imagine how that looks and how awkward it would feel just to sit here for 10 and a half minutes, 11 minutes, talking to no one because you're doing a commentary over a variant gameplay, CTF, both sides, the switch, kill cam, everything. You're just talking. Talking to no one, looking like you're crazy. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. So if you guys want to imagine that, go ahead because I know I'm beautiful and I know you guys think I'm beautiful. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into the topic at hand today. I want to tell you guys a little story. I haven't done that before, and I I think I think it's story time. We're gonna story time with Bleak. We're gonna we'll gather around, kids. So, anyways, as I was saying, the other week I'm in school in my college classes. If you guys didn't know, I am in college. I'm 21. I'm attending for digital photography. Now, every time I have class, a morning class, it would start at 11:30, which isn't technically morning because right when the class starts, about 30 minutes, it's noon now. But you guys catch the drift but um the thing would be I would wake up like an hour before the class would start let's say just because that's the kind of person I am I want to get as much sleep as I can I haven't been sleeping lately but you know I was I, I try and get as much sleep as I can before my classes so I'm ready for them. but the thing is the reason the thing being is if I get up an hour before my class all I have time to do is get ready I don't have time to eat no breakfast chill out a little bit watch a little bit of TV none of that I just get up take my shower do all my shit go and uh, so when I get to school I have a routine that I follow where I'll go to the concession stand and get a certain meal before I go to eat now this meal is just a regular meal you know it's a I'm going and I get me a club sandwich because I want to be part of the club. I want to be in the team, you know. They, they, I want to be part of these people. So I join their club with their sandwich. Now this club sandwich just has regular stuff on it like turkey, ham, shit like that. I get provolone, cheese on it, uh, white bread, mayonnaise. Yes, I'm, I like mayonnaise. I don't give a damn what nobody says. Shit's good. And um, so I get there. It's some chick I know from high school, and she's just being so nice to me, talking, talking, talking. And I'm like, look here, okay, I got to get to class, woman. You need to fix me up my sandwich real quick, like, and just let me get to class. So she's ringing it up, but she's constantly talking. Now, my meal consists of my sandwich and an energy drink, whether it's a full throttle, monster, whatever the hell they have, because at times it's just different shit there, which I don't get either, but we're not going to get into that. So I tell her, you know, go ahead, bring me up because I'm hungry. Sandwich and my meal is always $6.69. So here's another, a tip for you guys. Listen to this part carefully. Every time I pay for anything in life, in general, I use a debit card or a card because I don't believe in carrying cash. Cash can be lost and then never found, thus meaning you lost your money. Therefore, I believe you pay with your card. If your card is lost, stolen, anything like that, you just cancel it. All your money is still there. You even get the money that was spent back. Now, my mom works in the bank in the debit card department. So, this comes easily to me if my card were to get lost or stolen. I get a new one real quick, like, bam, bam, just like that, you know. And my money's still there. So, every time I go somewhere, I pay with my card. And, of course, at a vendor like this, they ask you, do you want a copy? Now... I've been going here for so long that I know these people. So every time they do ring me up, I know exactly how much it's going to be. So I'm like, nah, you know, I don't need a copy. I'm good. I don't need no paper. I'm going to just throw it away. What I, what I need to waste your paper for? Killing trees. We like trees. We like to breathe, you know? So I was like, nah, I don't need no copy of the receipt. So I get my sandwich. I enjoy it. You know, I'm eating it. Nom, nom, nom. Getting my grub on and stuff. 
go to class, drink my energy drink. I'm all hyped up. I'm like, you know, let's go. Let's let's do some computer technology stuff, you know, even though I don't do shit in that class. But, you know, I'm all hyped up for no reason, so I'm Twittering. I'm just in class, Twittering, bam, bam, tweeting, 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 chirp, chirp, you know, all that. And I get a text from my mom. And, like I said, my mom works at the bank. So anything that happens, she sees right away, which is a good thing because it's an easy way to manage my money. Now... She texts me and was like, what did you get from the concession stand for $70? So, like, at first, it didn't register. I just saw the 7 and I'm like, a sandwich. You know? And my mom's like, so you bought a $70 sandwich? And I'm like, whoa, 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 chill out. I was like, no, no, not $70, $7. And she's like, well, they took $70 out your account. Now, I'm all jacked up and stuff. You know, all my energy drink and my sandwich, I'm all hyped. I get up, you know, I'm going off. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Yo, this motherfucker, uh, this and that. And I'm all mad. I go to the concession stand, and they done change shifts, y'all. They done change shifts, and it's not the same person there. I'm all frustrated and stuff, because if this girl wouldn't have been trying to holler at me, I wouldn't have just lost $70. Now, I don't know about you guys, but $70 is a lot of money to not have if you had it. So therefore, I'm furious. You know, I'm not. I'm not very proud of what just happened. I'm in there getting hype. I'm like, this bitch gonna give me my money back, or else I'm gonna kill everybody in this motherfucker. You know, everybody. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get your mama too. Everybody. You know. So the thing is, the lady has to look for my receipt, but cannot find it. Because of all the customers that go to this concession stand in the day, because it's the it's the only food place within the college. So <laughs> I'm going off. I'm in class. I'm refusing to do my work and stuff. Everybody's just laughing at me and stuff. I'm like, nah, man. I just paid seventy dollars for a sandwich. A sandwich. That sandwich better been sprinkled in some crack or something for seventy dollars, okay? Because that's ain't no sandwich seventy dollars unless it's a fucking 10 foot tall sandwich with all the most delicate meats in the world okay but the thing is I go back later and she calls her manager and how about this woman is gonna have a nerve she's gonna void the transaction meaning when you void it it's like it never happened the money will go back on your card but how about she gonna tell me okay now let me see your card again sir so that I can charge you the regular price for the sandwich so I'm like, no, look here, woman. What you gonna do is you gonna give me this sandwich for free, cause I just missed about an hour of class, and you just took seventy dollars from me. Even though it wasn't her, but you guys catch the drift. The store just took seventy dollars from me. She's like, well, I have to charge you for the sandwich. So I start scaring her. I'm like, oh, you have to charge me. I was like, okay, um, what's your name again? And she gives me her name. I don't know what the hell it was. It was like some old lady. So I guess I'm guessing her name was like Gertrude or something. So I'm like, okay, Gertrude, what what what's the company name you work for? Is it a uh, AFI since it's through the military or blah blah blah? And she's like, no, it's this. I forget whatever the hell the name of it was. It was some corny ass shit. So and I'm like, oh okay. I was like, well, um, is there a number I can contact your uh your upper people, your manager, your you know someone? Even though she was on the phone with the manager, the actual store manager, but I want to talk to someone higher than that. So she gets scared. She's like, oh, you know what? I think you could just have this sandwich. It's on me. And I was like, oh, now it's on you. Okay, that's what I thought, you know? But, yeah, man, it's crazy, man. They tried to charge me $70 for a sandwich. I've never seen that before in my life. I mean, obviously, it was just a simple typo, but that's the point of this story, guys. When you're at work, especially when you're working with money, don't get too into what you're talking about with your customer. Make sure you do everything right. Make sure you're punching in your keys right and all that. Because in the end, you can have some unhappy people and you can lose customers. Because that's the thing that happened the next day when I came. The manager was actually working. And she was like, God, I'm so glad you're still coming here because a $70 sandwich, that's just ridiculous. Which is true. So I hopefully you guys learned something if you are in the work field already. If not, look out for it. It's crazy. It's going to get on your nerves. You really ain't going to like it. But when your check comes, you're going to be super happy. And you're going to try to ball out. You know, you're going to be in the club. Mm, mm, getting money and stuff. But 
that's just how we do. Um, this has been Bleak and Novice. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, my little story. It may not have been too funny, but I hope you guys can bear with me. I just wanted to share it with you all. This has been Bleak and Novice, and I'm outie. Capture the objective.